A couple of months ago it was that time again. After months of being somewhat of a dirty, bulking state, I felt like I needed to do the opposite of what bears do before winter and actually shed some weight instead of putting it on, basically subverting expectations of people in the holiday season. I have a bit of a round face already, so if my fat percentage gets higher, I kind of start looking like Thomas the Train. And don't be mad at me, but I always found that show to be extremely creepy. I mean, talking wide eyed trains, what the f? So I definitely don't want to look like him. It's not that I didn't train or anything or was completely athletically out of shape. I mean, I've quite consistently been doing workouts like three to four times a week. And I even did a little bit more cardio workouts at the end of summer because I was training for a 20K of Brussels, which I actually ran. I even had some really nasty blood blisters as a little um, souvenir from that event. Anyways, I don't like feeling fat, so that had to stop. First things first, the rules of the diet. My general diet for this challenge was a 35, 35, 30 macro split. It's nothing special it's an average diet split I feel like that's the most sustainable and we're going for sustainable since I don't want to yo-yo around after being done with this challenge I'm also limiting my calorie intake to about 2,000 calories a day which is also nothing crazy and I feel like it's very doable to actually get that done without feeling like I'm starving myself I got to this number of 2,000 calories a day just by using a TD EE calculator. I'll put a link in the description for that just to be sure that I'm just under my maintenance caloric intake level. Then for the big rules, I will not eat unhealthy snacks or drink alcohol and I'm really banking on that to work out for me. I wasn't a huge drinker or anything but over the summer I found myself having a couple drinks on average every week with friends and certain social events and stuff like that so after a while it, stuff starts to add up. If you pair that with my unhealthy addiction to sugary snacks then you get into rough waters when it comes to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. It also doesn't help that I'm spending quite a bit more time in Belgium now and you know sugary snacks and stuff like waffles, ice cream, chocolate and all that stuff, they're everywhere. To add some extra value for everyone watching, I will give you a detailed breakdown of what my workouts consist of using one of my favorite apps, Strong. It's a workout tracker that I've already made a video about in the past, so check that out if you're interested. So the challenge. This is what I looked like at the start. Puffy as f as for workouts, I started off strong, doing a workout every day. I alternated between HIIT training and two days of muscle-based workouts for the first week. High intensity interval training consisted of treadmill work, where I warmed up jogging a bit, then cycling through a really fast minute of running with 90 seconds of recovery running at my regular pace. For me, that will be 12 kilometers an hour as my standard and upping it to 15, 16 kilometers per hour for the fast portion. And I keep doing that until I've done about 16 to 17 minutes. So just cycling through that. After that, I jog some more for a cool down. Other HIIT training I did was a circuit one, with five minutes on the elliptical, five minutes on the indoor cycle, and five minutes on the treadmill, and repeating that circuit for a second time, always doing one to two minutes of easy work with one minute of fast pace work. My gym workouts are pretty straightforward. I usually do a split of back biceps on a day, chest triceps on a day, and shoulders abs on a day, with some more ab exercises sprinkled in throughout the week. This varies sometimes though. I'm not super strict about doing splits this way, so sometimes I'll be doing the abs with my chest workouts for example. My diet was also very clean that first week with everything adhering to the rules of the challenge. So always around 2,000 calories a day with no snacking and no alcohol. The closest thing I had to a snack in that week was a cappuccino in an afternoon, and that's it. I would usually have some granola with fat-free yogurt in the morning or some cereal or Weetabix. I rely quite heavily on chicken to get my protein levels up enough, as well as having quite a lot of eggs throughout the week. I think I was having about two eggs a day on average, which adds up over a whole week. It's by no means heavy bulking status. And really, I just ate about everything I wanted to, just keeping in mind not overeating and tracking everything properly. Another source of protein was an occasional whey protein shake. I prefer the vanilla flavor because it tastes like dessert. Little note for me in the future here, I do all my food tracking using the app MyFitnessPal, very well known app, I've also made a video about that in the past. Uh, go check that out if you're interested. But yeah, it's fairly straightforward. I just put all my food in there and kind of keep track of the daily calories I consume. Very easy. For a second week, I did some calisthenics. I also had two rest days when I had film work on location, but I did walk a lot during those days. Then I had five days of consecutive workouts with a back focus workout, another hit training, leg day, and then to have some fun at the end of the week, an arm workout day, which just feels like a cheat workout because it's the most fun to train, in my opinion. I gotta get that Matt Diavella bicep game one day. My diet was still consistent, but I have to admit, I didn't eat quite as clean on the shooting days when I was away from home. I went slightly over the 2000 calorie limit by about 200, 250 calories 
calories, mainly due to an unhealthy breakfast with croissants and a large Sprite and bread at a restaurant in the evening on one day, as well as a schnitzel plus soft drink dinner at a restaurant at the end of the second day of filming. I definitely went full German with that dinner. But like I said, quite an active day, so compensated somewhat for that. This is the overview for the workouts in the third week. The third week had some more calisthenics in there. Some mild cardio with abs, a rest day, a back biceps day, and a light leg shoulder day with heavy abs. I had a couple days off as well, but they weren't inactive since they were filming days again abroad. My diet was steady, although I did cheat with an afternoon cappuccino again and a mini chocolate there, as well as having a bite of a waffle someone else ordered. It just looked and smelled too good to resist, and I'm afraid I also had a small portion of sweet popcorn during the movie. My bad. The fourth week in the last two days after I had two calisthenics day in there, a lot of active walking because I was in Barcelona for four days, where I was walking all day, getting loads of steps in, and walking something like 15 to 20k per day. The last two days were respectively back biceps and a chest triceps shoulder abs workout. The diet remained steady again, but when I was in Barcelona, I went to my buddy Andy's favorite ice cream place in the world. So there I did have two tastes of an ice cream my friend ordered, and I gotta be honest, he got pushed into ordering that just so I could have a taste without ordering something myself. And that was the end of the challenge. So I did a pretty good job of adhering to the clean diet, apart from a handful of mini cheats. But by paying attention to my lifestyle and activity levels, I could easily compensate for that. Now, this is a result of the challenge. Nothing spectacular, but I did end up losing about 4 kg in that month for about nine pounds. And that being said, I didn't stop there. At the moment of recording this, we're actually a couple months further ahead and I kept up exercising and eating less snacks. I did allow myself to have drinks again on a couple of occasions, like during the holidays, for example. But my goal is to be in the best shape of my life very soon. But that will be made in an update video. So to follow video to this video, where I'm gonna go in depth on how I managed to pull this off in a sustainable fashion. Because that's always the important thing with challenges like this. You wanna actually make lifestyle changes and not just something that's a quick fix. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's a challenge that you're doing or planning on doing. Also be sure to check in and give me an update on how it's going if you decide to do this challenge yourself and follow along more or less with the workouts and everything that I've um, explained in this video. You could easily follow along with the weekly structure that I put out in this video. So if you're keen on trying that, just let me know how it goes for you. I definitely hope it works. And I hope you can also like find some kind of balance where it's sustainable and you can actually make some lifestyle changes. All right, also let me know if there's any more ideas that you have or other challenges always very much appreciated and uh, yeah hope to see you again in the next one see ya appreciate you